G'day folks. Um, I just brought these today. They are, if you can see that, seal skin waterproof breathable sock. Allegedly. Um, as you can see, that's it from the outside. Feels sort of rubbery, almost like that wetsuit material. And this is the inside where it's supposedly meant to be merino wool. <clears throat> I gave these a test drive today and they were, I have to admit, severely comfortable. They were just fan beautiful to wear. I was wearing gum boots in a river and because the theory was I was too cheap to buy some waders for fly fishing so I brought these in some gum boots hoping they would do the job. Um, the gum boots filled with water, which I knew was going to happen. So did the socks, and unfortunately, because they're supposed to be able to keep your feet warm as well, these have a thermal rating of three out of four. Uh, my feet got rather cold. Now, I'm assuming that's because the water level went above the top and water's just gone flying in. So I will now do a test in the infamous bathtub just to see how waterproof they actually are. Let's give it a shot. Well, here's, we're in the bath. Let's just, just get on in and see what actually happens. Excuse my rather scary white legs, but anyway. I, oh, my feet are totally dry. Um, I used cold water and they're actually, my feet feel rather uh, quite comfortable actually. So it appears. Can we zoom in? That they actually seem to work. Oops. Um, I have seen a few reviews on on the internet where people are saying after a couple of washes they start to fail. So we'll see what happens. But I think I'm going to use these as part of my hiking socks type thing. But yeah, so far. They do work, which they should, because they, considering they cost 60 Australian dollars for a pair, which is almost criminal, but if they work, I'll quite happily uh, do it. But let's just see if. <clears throat> yep, my foot is totally dry. The inside of the sock is dry, but the outside is wet. Hmm. Let's just see how they go. I'll get back to you on that. Thanks. <laughs> 